I went into my locals today to reserve a couple boxes of dual power and I noticed that this new speed dueling box and the very first speed dueling set ever is finally out and I noticed thing is I mean all the speed dueling stuff has had a lot of delays and I figured I would buy it but I couldn't help but wonder when I was there are there actually speed dueling players like do they exist and I'm not sure what the answer is because I've been to the past couple YCSs since I've introduced speed dueling and here's the deal there's no constructed play yet so I don't know who this is marketed towards I always said that speed dueling in general was kind of interesting because I didn't know who would spend money on cards to play in just side events and I am aware that there are a couple Yu-Gi-Oh day events that use the new speed dueling as like a constructed format but as far as I'm concerned at bigger events YCS is in particular it's all just sealed which is just with structure deck so I guess hopefully with the introduction of this box it means that there will actually be constructed events I'm not entirely sure but we're gonna get uh, open this box it's a uh, pretty dirt cheap it was like less than a dollar a pack it's 36 packs in here and um, I don't know like on one hand it's kind of cool that they finally released a main set and there actually are some pretty cool ideas in here on the other hand I'm pretty sure the, f the format is still like ruined right remember I made that video kind of uh, talking about the uh, the Blue Eyes deck and the Amazonist deck, and I guess some people are playing the Gravekeeper's deck, and there's some support in here for that as well. But I think it's kind of interesting that they're like, speed dueling to me doesn't really feel like any format that I would really want to play. Maybe it'd be interesting if there weren't like <laughs> so many OTK decks out there, well, namely just like Blue Eyes, but it just doesn't feel very balanced. I think when I was playing that uh, that Saga of the Blue Eyes format the, uh, the other day, and I kind of made a video about that, two videos about that actually, um, I actually felt like that was a lot more what speed dueling was supposed to feel like where it's it's very back and forth not a lot of otks but the way that speed dueling set up just because i mean i guess i don't know on one hand it says speed so like it should be fast but i think on the other hand the entire point of this product is and kind of like dueling is to appeal to old school players it just feels weird but uh, on one hand there are some good cards in here so even if you're not playing speed dueling uh, this is good for players that want to get some reprints or some cool cards and uh, the speed dueling rarity is actually kind of neat i have to say this in every video i probably should put it at the very beginning but i forgot uh you can use speed dueling cards in the TCG you cannot use TCG cards in speed dueling even if they're in the speed dueling format which is pretty unfortunate um just because it's like rough but yeah you can see there it says speed duel at the bottom it's kind of been like you can't feel but it's reflective and that is how you know that a card is from the speed dueling set obviously it's also going to have the set numbers and say speed duel there as well but anyway we got some cool cards in here and uh, what i'm looking most forward to uh maybe we'll pull a sphere creepo that's an ultra rain here i guess they didn't feel it was ruining duel links too much they added it to this game it's, it's a pretty cool hand trap i guess for these types of weird formats um and then also senju is getting its first holographic print that card used to be played in Nekaz a lot not so much anymore but it's only had a dt printing it's never had a holographic printing so that's kind of cool um we can kind of look through here what i'm most excited for is the uh the holographic skills i really want to see how those look so we have rabbit horseman whiptail crow white elephant's gift and gravekeeper's amateur which i just realized you're not guaranteed to wear in these packs there's only four cards per pack gravekeeper's amateur so not really sure um too much about this format i mean i guess people are playing gravekeepers as far as this set goes i didn't really look like i said i'm not like I'm not like super interested in speed dueling. I'm not I'm not not interested, but it's I don't know, it's hard to say. Snake hair, violet crystal, clown zombie. We got a meteor bee dragon, super rare, kind of cool looking. This uh, card is one that probably should have been in the Joey um, deck just because it already has uh, red eyes, it already has meteor dragon, and it already had polymerization. So this is obviously for those Joey players out there. Pretty cool looking card there, super rare. Yeah, the speed dueling thing. I don't know. I really like these speed dueling ultra rares. I know some people don't like these rarities, but I think they look pretty cool. We'll just kind of go through here. I, it looks like there's a lot of normal monsters, which I wasn't really aware of. So that's kind of, that's the exact same, <laughs> the exact same lineup. Nice. Um, I wonder if that's like the, the same thing for a lot of these where like it purposely puts cards together. Um, but I don't really know like a ton about the cards in this set. I looked at some like the better cards, but it, it looks like a lot more of the commons are just kind of, I mean, for lack of a better term, they are pack filler. I guess I should al also <laughs> mention, I think it's pretty obvious, but I would put it at the beginning of the video. But uh, I am not, Konami did not send me this box. I said, like I said, I, I went to my locals and got it. So uh, I'm not uh, sponsored in this video. I know there's been a couple other channels that have gotten these and uh, they're, they're probably more inclined to be positive than I am. I am uh, very skeptical about speed dueling. I thought it was a cool idea, but um, so far it has not really impressed me too much. It has been mentioning with these zombie cards, there is a skill in this set, I believe, that's like a wasteland, but it gives everything 300. 
is that better than like the blue eyes otk probably not will anything be better than the blue eyes otk that's the real question right it's i don't know it's like playing a format with dragon Wars and just trying to play like anything else like is there any point like there's this uh, uh jack's knight king's knight queen's knight skill in this what even is it yeah it's a skill like adds one to your family you have one of them um that's well once again that's just like an otk thing but why even bother doing that if you can just play blue eyes <laughs> i i just there's no way that that melt that uh blue eyes skill was like tested i i just refuse to believe that that skill like actually went through any r d i mean it, it must have right <laughs> like it asked to. they're not just gonna release a format with like skills they haven't tested but I, I just don't know what they were thinking. It's, it's it's so crazy. This format would be so much more fun without that skill. It's really funny. Whoa, what is that? Great Mammoth of Gold Find. The snake here was... I have never seen... Whoa, that's really weird looking. Is that like a real card? I'm all, That's crazy. I mean, obviously it's a real card, but... Hmm. That's, uh, I have not seen that card. I wonder if it only has like a very limited release from old school Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I have... It's, it's very rare when I come, a card, come across a card I haven't seen before. If you're Zamash, another one of those block attack. Oh, this is really cool too. I forgot to mention this. Oh, I forgot this. A King of Skull Servants, the very first holographic printing. This is super slick. I'm sure earlier when I was talking about the holo printing, some people already commented, you forgot King of the Skull Servants. And I did forget it, but this is probably one of the cooler cards in here. Uh, if you guys know, I'm actually a huge Skull Servant fan. I've updated the deck a few times, made a couple of videos about it. Um, maybe I should like update the deck. I don't know. The deck profiles, <laughs> I always, every time we do these pack opening videos, every like, what, once a month, twice a month. Um, oh, this is kind of cool reprint too. Common Harpy's Pet Dragon. That card used to be very, very expensive when uh, Harpies were even sort of like a rogue deck in some people's minds. But uh, anyway, when I use pack opening videos every once in a while, I mention like, oh, I should do like this deck profile. Like I think in the last one, I mentioned a little bit about um, Medulce's because I pulled like Medulce Rare and I have the whole Medulce deck kind of put together. And uh, now I'm mentioning with like King of Skull Servants and just like in general, I've mentioned in the past like, oh, I should do deck profiles. But like, and as much as like you guys seem to like them, and I know that like, there is like a very core audience that really enjoys those deck profile videos. Um, I don't know, like they just they just don't do, do very well. Oh, I pulled the skill card, cool. Oh, this common skill card. Wait, what the? Okay, that's confusing. Uh, Armored Zombie Magicians Unite Magical Ghost, and then oh, it is. A, that's weird. Okay, so this is what I was talking about, where it's like, a, oh no, it is only two hundred attack. I swear someone said this was. 300 attack guess not but that's what a holographic skill card looks like actually pretty cool I, that i think the skill cards look a lot uh, more presentable when they're holographic there is i wonder how many ultras are supposed to pull, pull like two ultras and like a bunch of supers probably but uh yeah the fact of the matter is while there are some people that are, are big fans of the oh amazon is spy why didn't they print this as a super rare that would have been uh, cool to rarity upgrade my uh, Amazonist Phantom Knight deck. I love that deck. That's a deck that I really like profile, and that's always fun to talk about. Um, but yeah, and just the fact of the matter is, like, a lot of those deck profiles just don't just don't get views anymore. And uh, while I try to, I mean, always I'm going to post stuff that I enjoy posting. I love talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! every day. My job is so fun. Um, I do have to make money. It is, it is my job. It does pay the bills. And uh, when you look at stuff, oh, half shut. Interesting. That might be like a sort of counter to OTKs. Uh, but when we're talking about like deck profiles in particular, they just do, they do so, so poorly. Like it's, it's really sad, like how bad deck profiles do specifically because uh, they all have actual ways in Skull Servant. That's an important reprint. This card's actually still pretty expensive. If you ever try to build a Skull Servant deck, you might know that the Skull Servant card is actually pretty expensive. I wonder if it's like a cool way to send them to the grave. But yeah, as far as deck profiles go, they're fun to make, and there is a core audience for it. It used to be, like, my most popular videos were deck profiles, and uh, these days, that is not the case. They do, like, the worst out of everything, um, outside of, like, the meme ones, like Chaos Max. We have Arcana Knight Joker. Not exactly the ultra rare that you're looking to pull in this, because it's not very good, but it's it's cool looking, right? And this card is, uh, that the first holo reprint, or no, I don't know, it was printed as a rare the first time, which I found very weird at the time, and I think it still is pretty weird, but... I don't know. That, I mean, that's ultra. Obviously, you want to pull a sphere creeper. That's like the big one. Which right now, as of the time of filming this video, is like right around ten dollars. Which is like, to me, that is outrageous. That a card in speed duel format will be worth ten dollars. I think that's what people are most worried about too with this format because because you can only use speed dueling cards in speed dueling format. Konami can like really keep like a tight watch on how which cards are printing which rarity. Not quite to the same degree that like uh, Duel Links does it because in Duel Links like there are no singles. At least in this format there are singles it's just like eh, i don't know it's 
it's stuff up there. They print cards like Seer Creed was ultra rares and like you can't play like the regular version. How are you going to always be buying the new stuff for this format that no one's playing? I'd like to try it. I mean, I have tried it, but it's like, I'd like to try it when like Blue Eyes OTK isn't a thing. I don't know. Releasing a skill as powerful as Dragon Caller in the very first uh, starter decks, not even the first set, in the first starter decks, releasing a skill as powerful as Dragon Caller is just so strange to me. I just don't really get, that's why I say like, I mean, it must have been, um, I mean, it had to be uh, tested, but pull uh, King's Knight as well, which is pretty cool. We have not pulled the, I don't know what rarity the skill for that card is, but pretty cool thing to pull. Go through here. We pulled, yeah, I guess King's Knight is the only uh, hollow one because Queens and Jacks are both commons. We pulled a couple of those already. I think we've only pulled like one Queen's Knight, so I don't really know what Speed Dueling's for. Like, I know it's supposed to. That is cool. Twister. Okay, that's a pretty cool ultra rare. Uh, pay 500 life points and target one spell or trap card on the field. Destroy that target. I actually just talked about this card in a video of like five cards that will probably never be played again. But in this format, this card would definitely see some play um, against the Amazonists. In uh, Great Keepers decks, they have some continuous spells, so that's actually pretty cool. The uh, one of the skills that's cool in here and that I think would be, I don't know, I, I've talked a few times about how I really thought that the Master Rule like 4 or Master Rule 5 thing, I guess Master Rule 5 would be the skill card, so we pulled out a skill card, cool. And uh, one of the things that they do in this set and that I really like, or just in general in Speed Duel, is this, see, okay, what's this one? Once per turn, if you control a zombie monster, you can place one counter on this card. Oh, that's just like Pump Princess, right? Isn't that literally just... Oh, any battle damage you take from battles and while you know <laughs> that's terrible. That's really bad. But there's a really cool call the haunted skill. But basically the skills that I like in this game, and I've talked about that, I thought that the TCG would get like skills. Even before like this speed dueling thing was announced, I really thought that skills were like where the TCG was going, just because Konami like is already doing that with duel links. Um but the problem is like many of the duel link skills are too good for the TCG, which sounds silly, but the duel link skills that like add cards to your hand or like the mulligan ability are way too strong for the TCG. So they have to dial them back a little bit, but what I like about this game, there's like obviously that you have the field spell. Oh, two skills serving the same back. They always think, see that this card's description is so funny too. Uh, skeletal ghost that isn't strong but can mean trouble in large numbers. Is uh, does two count as large numbers? I'm not sure. But uh, basically, what I like about like the call of the haunted skill is I think that's the way they could actually incorporate skills into the TCG without like breaking them. Is if they just make them out of cards that like aren't necessarily like super powerful but like pretty playable. Something like call of the haunted, um, kind of going along the same lines of like the uh the switcheroo skill or the restart skill when you have mulligan abilities which is i don't necessarily want that in the tcg but when you have mulligan abilities um for like different um characters and stuff or skill cards in this game i guess it's it's cool because like you don't have to draw those cards you don't it's not like magical mallet where like you have to draw the card and then like your hand has to be bad already so i think in the same way call the haunted as like a skill is kind of nice because like maybe you wouldn't play call the haunted in your actual deck but if it was a skill card that you never had to draw when you didn't want it maybe then you would play call the haunted and i think it's kind of interesting we pulled a, I think this is the Necro Valley skill. Violet Crystal, Whiptail Crow, Queen's Knight, and Tomb of the Pharaoh, an ultra rare. Yeah, the uh, the speed win ultra rare is like really, really nice. I'm, I'm a big fan. Tomb of the Pharaoh. This card's name is always treated as Necro Valley. All great people's monsters on the field that gain at 200 attack and defense. Obviously not as strong as Necro Valley. That is probably okay. Necro Valley probably would have been too good for here, but if you don't know, the uh, the, the Grave Keepers deck already just was using, uh, the only Necro Valley type card was, in, was that monster card, Grave Keepers Priestess or whatever. So having that as a skill card, very, very strong in theory. So I think, oh, nice. Sword of Dragon. Still remember having this Seeker Rare back in the day. Go pull into a Warrior Monster, gain 700 attack. After damage calculation, if the Equip Monster battled a Dragon Monster, destroy that monster at the end of the battle phase. This thing would be so, so good if it destroyed it immediately because it would actually help counter the uh, the Blue Eyes deck. But because it doesn't do that, not super hot. But it's, it's pretty cool. I guess if you like equip that to something with Heirloom on already pop a bunch of stuff and that's it so it looks like out of those uh what 36 packs 34 packs can't quite remember we pulled uh three ultra rares and six super rares so that looks to be about the box ratio maybe you're only supposed to pull 
two ultra rares probably not though i don't know that seems fine um as far as value goes like if you're not playing speed dueling should you buy this product probably not even if you are playing speed duels i don't know if you should buy this product I'm not really sure you're sure who this is for i mean someone has to buy it so you can get singles but if you're playing speed dueling most of the cards aren't that expensive besides fear creepo and even then it's not really that expensive just expensive relative to this format uh so probably should just stick to buying singles for all that stuff but they look cool particularly i think the skill cards as holographic look really really nice but uh, anyway let me know what you guys think about speed dueling have you tried it have you uh, thought about it at all have you considered buying some packs or buying some singles to play in that format let me know in the comment section below i'll see you guys later though thank you so much for watching today's video goodbye